Hi, my name is Russ, and I'm going to take you on a journey of a jump start with the UVI workstation. In about an hour, we're going to go from nothing to you being equipped to be able to get around it very quickly and make great music with it. So, UVI Workstation is a free download from the UVI website. You need to head there first and download it. I'm using version 2.0.5, which is the latest version at the time of recording these videos. So, I'm going to show you an overview, but as I say, this is Mac and PC and we'll have a quick overview about how to use it. So what we're going to do first is really just get started and use a kind of tutorial to sort of get you up and running and show you the interface. It's all pretty self-explanatory. As you see at the top here, we have a volume control here, and we have a pitch and a mod wheel down here and a keyboard that we can use with our mouse. We have some features here that we'll be looking at later for when loops are playing, uh, tap tempo, sync to host, play and stop, and of course the tempo bar as well, the tempo setting there. Just double click on that and re-put it to 120. So if you want to get a sound in, it's as simple as this. What you do is you double click here to open the browser and it will show you a list of file places. Now, right now, then you see that little eye up here and you can close it again doing that. What we're going to do though is we're going to go to this multi-setting here and straight away from uh, factory you'll see one, two, three and four. Now what we've got here is four settings ready to install instruments in. These denote the MIDI channels, and if I click on them, I can choose Omni, and then A1 to 16, up to D1 to 16, which gives us 64 channels. At the moment, there's no sound in there, so it says empty, mute, solo, volume, pan, auxiliary one and two, and we'll be looking at those effects later on. Uh, the polyphonic, uh, the octave, the semi, and the fine, all for the tuning. So let's get something in and just start to make some noise and then it will start to make even more sense. So I can either click here with the eye or double click on the part. And then I'm going to come down to the sound banks. So I'm going to go to the UVI tutorial set. I'm going to go for the electric piano. Double click on it and it loads it in. Hit the eye again and it's gone. As I say, we're in multi mode at the moment. I can play that. MIDI coming in, we can see that, that little dot there, we've got audio, see that, volume, pan, and the poly set to eight notes at the moment, we can push that up if you want, now one note's giving me monophonic, octaves, semitones and fine so we've got all the tuning we want then we have several views we have single view and that will then give us a sometimes a graphic depending on what you're loading and it will also show us some macros that may be mapped when the sound was created so at the moment we've got a macro map to the reverb box and drive get really deep dirty if you want we could have a then we have a list of what the macros are actually doing here so there we are that's how you load one sound if you want to load a second sound just double click again come to the synth bass and synth and we've loaded that in now. Now remember that because we've only got one keyboard connected at the moment, if I want to play that sound, I've got to turn this one off first to like a different channel and that. Or of course change the MIDI channel on my controller in the first place. And it's as simple as that to get sounds in and up and running. If you'd like what you've done there, we can then save that. We could go here, save multi, and I'll call it, I'll put it in my samples folder, call it Groove 3, and that's in there now. Now, if I've got all the multis already saved, then I can start going through those multis and checking if they're there. Any more multis already in the presets? I could go through left and right here and 
bring them in if I wanted to, depending on where I've saved them and start stepping through them. That's the simple get going how to use UVI workstation. We're going to go really deep under the covers now. We're going to get to things like files, uh, sounds, loops, editing the loops, using it in your host DAW. We're going to use expert mode as well, which is really cool for live use. We're going to talk about mapping separate outputs in your DAW. We're also going to talk about setting up, so make sure your MIDI is working, your audio is working, and it's finding all the files correctly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session.